Channel 1, Yakri Yak, oh shit. This stuff. Uh, yeah, it's strange. In the morning of these conventions, it gets really cold, or it, it, it starts out cold. I think that's to do with all the uh, the lack of bodies in the, uh, the convention hall. And as usual, around about lunchtime, it's packed with people, and then it gets too hot. More people is better, more footfall is better. And um, hopefully it means more sales. Hi everyone, this is DC Weld, and we're at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest in London again this year, and I'm with this great talent artist, Amos Bensal Art. Guys, he sent us some stuff for a giveaway you may remember a few months ago, um, and a couple of bits myself. Uh, Amos? Yeah, nice to finally meet you guys. Um, great to be here at uh, Hero and Villains Fan Fest, first year here. Um, followed you guys for a while now. Uh, I think we're both big fans of Superman and DC in general. So uh, we've kind of just found each other online and uh, have supported each other ever since. And uh, thank you for being a good, big supporter of my work so far and uh, supporting the cause. And um, yeah, good to finally meet you in the flesh. Well, no, some great talent. And just, just today, while we've just got here, uh, there's a great Batman, like Gambit is doing now. Um, some of the joins are amazing. Come upstairs, he's up on the second floor to check him out, if you're here today anyway. Um, and uh, who is your favourite characters to draw? Do you have any favourites that you like drawing? I think for me, Superman and Batman are up there because um, they're equal and opposite. I think they're, you know, they're just alpha males. I've kind of just had their affinity for them from day one, just, just um, you know, alpha males and heroes in general. Um, but I think Superman is kind of the first and the best. Of course, he is the best one. That's the one I would pick anyway all day long. Uh, what, got, what got you into doing the art and the joins? Um, I kind of just always been drawing from from day one, really. Um, and then as I grew older, I kind of want to ha wonder how can I improve my artwork. And then stumbled across cro comic books and graphic novels and that sort of thing. And then followed other artists such as Jim Lee, Tim Bradstreet. Later on, later on, stumbled across guys like Alex Ross, who kind of who I kind of personally identify with. Kind of his art art was a bit more real more realistic and then I always like drawing from reference just like he does so I thought there are a lot of similarities there in our approaches and stuff so that's kind of how I've kind of just taken it step by step and the last few years I've been pushing on social media um, and then kind of do commissions you know via social media, the power of social media um, and then have fine freelance work so I've kind of done um, uh, loads of sketch cards for a company in the States called Written House Archives um, so my latest project is doing the Lost in Space TV series. Um, so I'll be out, so I can release my work hopefully in June, July time. Um, and I'll be across all my social media, YouTube, Instagram, you name it. So uh, you know, do keep an eye out. I know you're on all social medias and of course if you've not seen, he's got some great videos on his YouTube channel. I'll put that under the video all the links. Um, and he does some of this art, uh, how long he spends doing it and speeds it up so you just need to watch it in a few minutes. Um, and there's some great stuff. I know like the Henry and the Batman. I have that one at home that you sent yeah. me. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, <laughs> watching those on your social media is absolutely brilliant to see how, how you get to do these. No, and, um, your own Your own way of doing the art like every artist does. It's yeah. your own unique way. And I, I, I love the, uh, the concept and the ideas and I love the characters. And we're in big time at the moment with all the comic superheroes and what's coming up with the shows. Yeah. Is there any specific show you watch or anything you like to uh, see coming up? Um, so I follow all, I watch all the, 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 the DC TV shows, um, 
I liked it when Superman appeared in Supergirl. Um, but uh, I'm, I guess I'm an old school guy. I do, I do like, I still like Smallville, kind of, I still watch that. Um, so as you can tell, I'm a massive Superman fan. Um, and I like all the retro, retro stuff as well with Christopher Reeve as well. Um, I do think Henry Cavill did get a little, got the short end of the stick with uh, his uh, Superman trilogy, but um, I think they're in talks to make a Man of Steel too. Um, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed they kind of get things right in their own sort of phase two of the DCU. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, must. I won't keep you too much longer your time. I'll let you get on with your stalk today. Check him out, guys. Uh, I'll put this online in a moment so you can all see. Um, and again, it's Amos Bansalar, all over social media. Check his videos out. Subscribe to him on YouTube. He's on Instagram. He's on Twitter. Um, and thank you for your time today. It's amazing. Thank you very much for you guys for having me. Thank you to DC World for the ongoing support. And uh, hopefully we can uh, work together again in the future. Yeah. Cheers, Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, guys.